to edit any attribute or the property of this file or any asset health.csv right now click on edit button and now we can update various things we can update the name of the file we can add the description like this is a sample file containing health records we can add the classifications that are available in the drop down it is showing us 206 classifications around that which are by default provided by microsoft but we can also create our own custom classifications which we are going to learn in the subsequent sessions for now i'm going to ignore this but glossary terms currently it is empty we will create in the next session or maybe later certified is a option which tells across the organization that this asset has been certified which means it has the utmost quality of the data and this asset can be trusted to be used anywhere in to implement any use case in the organization you will get different options if you scroll up go to schema you can add schema level options as well let's say this is average cover charges the exact classification may not be available but just to show you a uh, sample go to payments and i will search if any payment related classification is there no okay so let's add australia bank account number which is very random i am picking but this is just to show you that we can add column level classifications also asset description we can add this column description as payment related data once this is done go to lineage i don't want to create any lineage as of now go to contacts i can add the contacts here maybe my name itself or you can add anyone's name in your organization who is the expert or the owner of this asset click on save once this is updated you can see the updated asset description go to schema the classification is available for the payments column and the column level description is also there under the context we have the expert name added that's all about the editing of the data catalog let's go to the next video to explore more features